actually, we're going to put a string of lights up tomorrow. Would you like to switch them on, Matt? Would you like to be a switcher on now? No one has ever asked me to turn on the lights. They've had Danny Baker, they've had Jennifer we had, Saunders. We had Barbara Windsor. Barbara Windsor? Yeah, we've had them all. Hello, so hope you're having a good day. This bit I'm gonna play is clickbait, unadulterated clickbait. It's a way of getting Spice Girl fans to click on this video and I get more views. It's a tiny clip. It's when Mel B came to see me on my show last week. You can hear the whole interview on BBC Sounds. This is just a tiny little bit and when I have musicians come into the studio, I like to play their tracks out because it puts everyone in a good mood and that's what I did and she had a mug of tea and it was lovely and she gave me a hug. It's a tiny clip. Also my lips I oh, oh, here's Elisa. Come in, Elisa. Uh, my lips are really, really sore, <laughs> and Elisa's fed up with hearing about them. Um, and I think I'm just going to have to live with it, aren't I? You look beautiful, Jo. Just wave. Hi. Thank you for coming in. I love your walk. Oh dear. I don't know if you've been listening to my radio show, but I um, took an antihistamine because my lips have blown up. I'm allergic to something, I don't know what it is. And um, then reversed, even though they said you can drive, they don't make you sleep, I reversed into a brick wall and I've done the bumper on my car. And I wouldn't usually worry, but um, the fog light isn't working, which means I could get pulled over and I've got enough points on my license, I don't need to lose anymore. So I'm gonna go to a work, a mini repair shop in Kentish Town that I've never been to before. I usually go over to, um, Mini in El Nine Elms, but I'm going to go to Kentish Town and uh, see if they can do it because it's nearer to me. Matilda, are you ready for a journey? We're off. We're off to Kentish Town, Tilde. Kentish Town. Yes. She's not in a very good mood this morning. I actually went into a brick wall when my mother was talking to me and I didn't really... <laughs> I wasn't paying much attention. What do you think? Well, your rear bumper seems to be okay. Depends on what you want to pay for. It looks like you're just going to have to pay for the, uh, the spoiler and the fog light. Well, that's not so bad then. No. Fantastic. Quite a good turnout, all in all. Well, that wasn't too bad, Matilda. It's going to be, oh, it's going to be a lot of money. But they can do it in a day, which is really quick. Um, so that's the start of my week. Tilt, say hello. You can hardly see her there, can you? Um, so I'm going to head back to work. Dr. Renee's coming in today, so she's going to have a look at my lips and see exactly what is happening here. I mean, honestly, it saves on collagen. I've often thought of having collagen and having allergic lips or whatever it is, a reaction to something, probably a reaction action to life who knows and it's a beautiful day Tilda you in a good mood you in a good mood yeah she loves going on a journey but I head back to work though Tilda we're a little bit it's late beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go take a look at the five and ten it's glistening once again with candy canes and silver lanes that glow it's beginning to look so it's lovely to come out or to come downstairs and see that waiting for us but i have to say look at the lights in Marylebone. Well, that will be on your own front door a pair of hop along boots and a pistol that shoots the way this is a fantastic place come on tilt I want to show you the Christmas lights. The hope of Janice and Jen And Mom and Dad can hardly wait for school to start again It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go There's a tree Tilda, come on Tilda, we only need to go shopping It's just lovely And what I love is that many of these lights that you see here it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas A tied to our roof So I could literally go up there on my roof And undo them 
I wouldn't know. Right within your heart. This is one of my favourite shops. It's uh, La Fromagerie and it, uh, it basically it's a cheese shop that sells a load of wonderful stuff. Let me just show you the cheese room. I'll just show you here if you can see it. I don't know if you can. But the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be. Unbelievable, and it's the best place to come for cheese. And um, I love the way they've done it up for Christmas. And it's next to a very, very famous butcher's called the Ginger Pig, which is there. Once more. It's just one of my favourite streets. I love it. And I love the way the whole village has been lit up for Christmas. Poor Matilda, look how sad she looks. All right, come on then. Come on then, we're going to Waitrose. This is my favourite local. This is Lisa. Have you? <laughs> Where are all your Christmas trees? They've gone away. We have to pull we... away at night oh, to I bed. See. They go oh, to bed goodness. at night. They go to bed at yeah, night. Yeah, cover them up. All nice. Lisa and I. Hold on, I need to do this. Lisa and I know more about what's going on in Marylebone than anyone. Than anyone. We? We she do. sees we it know all the passing secrets. by. We know the secret. I like the lights, Lisa. This year. Yes. So they're, they're quite nice. They're the same as last year. Oh, I must say they? yes. But actually. We're going to put a string of lights up tomorrow. Would you like to switch them on, Matt? Would you, you like to be a switcher on now? No one has ever asked me to turn on the lights. They've had Danny Baker. They've had Jennifer we had, Saunders. We had Barbara Windsor. Barbara Windsor? Yeah, we've had them all. That's doing the main lights, I'll but be I'll honest. do your lights here. I'll be honest. You know, I've had people begging me. <laughs> and I said no. I said no, we're having Joe. Jo all right then. Local what time celeb? tomorrow? Right, well when Danny's gotten pinned up, right, right I'll come and do it. You'll come and do I'll it, do right? It. And I'm gonna give a speech. Anytime you want. Teddy bear. Oh, Stella, gosh. get in, get in. This is my wonderful friend Maeve, and I've come round to my favourite store ever, Liberty, to meet my friend Maeve and Stella. <laughs> nice. Stella is in Liberty, and this is our favourite. Look at this. Look at this. Here it is in the set. This is the dress. And I think. Okay, do you have the card? The thing yes, is. It fits you perfectly. This fits is you the perfectly. Dress. Perfect. Oh, God, it's so wonderful. It's a good dress, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So the next know? time you see me, I'm going to be. That's going to be my Christmas present to myself. Sorry, right. Gosh. What do you think, Stella? This is the 34. Which this is the 36? The, the one I'm wearing. This is the 34. Now. Yeah. So the eight's too big for me. The six I is perfect on you. It, yeah. Oh my goodness, just look outside at is what it, everyone's getting up to. This is London at Christmas. Stella's with you. And it's fantastic. 